Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know y'all seeing how my hair looks a mess. So let's do it. My birthday is tomorrow, April 11th. And today is Wednesday, April 10th. So we're going to go ahead and get my hair done. I purchased this Mayel Rice Water Clay Mask. I seen somebody talking about it on TikTok. So I went ahead and picked it up. They said it's for low porosity hair. And my hair has been feeling on the dry side um lately it is completely clean i washed it this past weekend but i purposely didn't stop like put any product in there because i didn't know how i was styling it originally my cousin brie was supposed to straighten it for me and now i was going to use her wand curler to add some curls but that just didn't happen like i just changed my mind and because of that because i was planning on straightening my hair i didn't put normally what i put in there like normally i go on my hair serum and my camille rose honey hydrate and maybe some blue grease but i didn't want to do that because i think the camille rose honey hydrate like stops my hair from staying straight i don't know i was trying to test a theory but i'm gonna apply this hair mask and then i'm gonna also do a hair like um i'm gonna steam my hair to add some moisture back in it that way and then i ended up ordering these flexi rods off of amazon and i'm gonna list i'm gonna link these in my amazon storefront under hair faves but it's just i think i paid nine dollars for these like they were really affordable it comes with that little bag to put them in and it's just a bunch of different sizes so i got these little flexi rods and it's just a bunch of little sizes i already had some but i didn't have many so i just ordered more and it has a variety of sizes if y'all can really see it I'm going to go ahead and be honest and tell y'all that I have no idea how to do a flexi rod set. I think I've done it like once or twice and it's been years ago. So I'm going to try it again because that's how I'm wearing my hair. So y'all about to watch me detangle and add this clay mask. This clay mask was $10. It was like $9, $10 with tax. It smells good. That's what it looks like. And this is a little container for it to be a hair mask. But um, hopefully I don't need a lot for my hair because my hair is not extremely thick. I got my little plastic cap shower wrap type thing if you don't have one you can just use like an old like shopping bag or something like that my trusty unbrush to detangle this is the regular size again linked down in my amazon storefront or if you want to i got mine from tiktok and it's linked to my tiktok shop tab as well over there i took this shirt off and put it back on and it's on inside out anyways I don't feel like fixing it now. And fun fact with this unbrush, you can actually detangle your hair wet or dry. I've tried it both ways. I prefer to detangle my hair wet though. But it didn't hurt detangling it dry. Fun fact, I'm going to be 25 tomorrow even though I don't look it. Nor do I feel it. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad I don't look my age. I'd rather look like a kid. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all listen to some music while I do this. It's a generous amount. I'm going to try with this. I be trying to make my hair products last, but maybe I should have kicked it on there because I feel like that's what a generous amount roots to end it says. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I put it in these four jumbo. My hair is not thick enough to call it jumbo, but these little twists. That's how much product I use. I don't know if you can actually tell. It smells really good. My it's making my my um scalp tingle a bit. like a lunch lady what time is it 6 51 i'm gonna leave this on for till about 7 30 that's a little over 30 minutes um i'm not really gonna time it i'm just gonna let it sit as long as i feel like letting it sit can we start over don't want nobody but you no matter what we go through keeping it between us two me and you can we survive the distance That 
That's a steamer. How oh, that's the mouth? That's the what? That's the mouth. That be cheese. That's the what? What's what's behind me? That be cheese. Sitting under the steamer before I take this hair mask out or rinse it out. All right, bring out the movie plan. Y'all see me. I already took the hat off. I just sat under the steamer for about 10 minutes because it just had very little water. I steamed my hair with the hair mask in. The hair mask that has been in, I don't remember the time I told y'all last, but it's now 9 on 8. So that amount of time the hair mask has been in. Now I'm about to go rinse it with like some lukewarm water and then we can start styling. Okay, I rinsed my hair out. The towel has been sitting on here for about 10-15 minutes. I didn't mean to. I just got carried away doing something else. I'm going to keep the water in case I need to rehydrate my hair. My grandma is letting me use her mousse, which is this almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse by the Sun Essentials and Natural Hair. I'm going to go in with just a small amount of this Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. This is one of the products I use when I'm wearing my hair out because I don't have anything else. Um, I'm going to add this Lucetta Rosemary Mint, Rosemary Mint Complex Hair Serum. I've used their biotin and collagen, love it, but I'm trying to use this um, rosemary line consecutively or consistently just to see if it has the same benefits as the biotin and collagen as far as like hair growth. And then obviously I'm going in with my Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. Y'all see I love this. Um, this lasts a long time. This is only my second bottle ever having. So that's basically everything I'm using. And this is my hair fresh out the towel. Before I start playing the music, my hair feels soft. My scalp feels rejuvenated. Like it just, I don't know, like that hair mask, that steaming, like it just did something to my hair. The combination paired together was chef's kiss. But I think the hair mask probably did most of the work because I left that on when I sat under the steamer. This is what my hair looked like. And I should have did a close-up of what it looked like before, but this is the after. And I can just tell a difference. Like I can just run my hands like it's tangles but i can just kind of run my, run my hands through it so i'm gonna detangle this and we're gonna get to work i'm a for it will grow the more we debate i'm just hoping it isn't too late what can i do sorry if it's a little cliche i know we're supposed to live in a gray leave it to chance or leave it to fate but i'm missing you pull me in closer but i have detangled my entire head in four sections and I'm gonna just kind of brush this all up into a ponytail I don't know if you're supposed to blow dry your hair first and then do the um flexi rod set or if you're supposed to leave it dry my hair right now is damp if I feel like it gets too dry I am gonna add water back into it we're just gonna trust the process see how it turned out like I said I'm not no professional and I really truly don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna just loop this around like one time so I can pull hair out and I'm not gonna work in really small sections maybe about like that size that might still even be too long not gonna too much worry about the parts I don't want to be here all night and we're gonna get this thing rolling I'm gonna do this first one in real time then I'm gonna speed it up and if I start messing up or it's not going how I want it, I'm cutting the camera off and I'm going to finish it and come back and show it. added a little bit of this Miss Jessie's. And I'm going to add a little bit of mousse. Not about that much. I really don't know. I'm going to watch like two women videos and I try to watch them. But from what I could see in each video, those two that I watched, the most important set was the mousse. I don't know which way to twist this. Don't feel right. Okay. Hey. Hold on. BRB. This already seems like it's gonna be a struggle. I got a nice little coil, but I'm gonna do this one, then do the rest off camera. I think. <laughs> Which way to wrap it? Do I go under? Are over the mousse has pretty much dried. Somebody else pointed it out and was like, Make sure the end stays wrapped around. These are also not very long, so bye. I need to be real up close and personal with this mirror, so I'm gonna actually come back on camera when I get to the front because I feel like the top or the front will be a lot easier. So 
see you then let's see what time it is it is 9 49 p.m so i'm gonna come back and give y'all a time check depending on the time okay bear with me okay hear me out i think i figured it out okay this is what it's looking like Okay, as much as I want to sit here and record, I'm thinking about how long it's going to take me to edit this video. And I don't know why I was doing my voice like that, but I don't even like this. this is, I don't know what's happening, but I don't feel like recording it. So I will be back after I actually do the hairstyle. I literally only have this little bit left. We got some greens, orange, yellows, blues, purples, all throughout the hair. Time check, 3.39. And I'm going to go ahead and do these last two. And I've noticed that my ends need to be trimmed badly so next time i wash my hair i'm gonna have my grandma like dust them and then i'm gonna go to the hair salon and get them cut and there we have it a full flexi rod set yeah i'm gonna be back tomorrow to let y'all know how okay y'all it's the next this day and it is 220 so we're about to attempt to take these flexi rods down i got my little bags of flexi rods right here to put all of the flexi rods back into i'm gonna use a little bit of this lucetta hair serum like hair oil um, because people said to like do that to separate the curls or something. I don't know. We're gonna try. Okay, that's one little curl. They don't look horrible so far. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to All right, this is what it's looking like after I took it out. I look like somebody grandma, so I'm gonna fluff him out, separate the curls. Okay, y'all, this is the hair. Out. Ignore my dog. How did it turn out? I tried my best to do my edges, but I'm still learning, so ignore them. Also, it was raining today, so good thing I didn't straighten my hair or get my hair straightened. Depending on like how it look when I get back, because it's gonna fluff up some more and get frizzy from the humid, I might redo it completely. But this is what it's looking like right now. It is 3.41 p.m. and we're about to leave to go to eat some seafood because that's where I want to go for my birthday. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss my post. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.